we're doing some more chalice dungeon boys specifically we're gonna try and find some weird stuff in depth 5 FRC Ives gravestone and we're gonna do it as vile blood scum meaning that we only use vile blood stuff the Rakuyo Chikage Ryder Palash which I can pronounce by the way and the Evelyn generally speaking I prefer the strength arcane church boys but vile bloods can be fun skill blood tinge versus strength arcane we're gonna explore the off areas too see if we can find that weird stuff sometimes you know you find uh, I, I think they're called the labyrinth moles they're the weird naked mole rat looking things that cause frenzy Gave me a murky gem that I'll probably never use. Because who bothered? Oh, I did not expect to get that. Come on. Give me that parry. <laughs> I'm always jealous of the NPC squid damage. Their squid damage is much better than my damage. I know in Dark Souls 3, there's so many items that you can use to buff your character with. And whenever I do PvE, I always do... Uh, what are you doing over there? Do something. I always do Faith. Faith runs. Because I have found that the best way to kill bosses in Dark Souls 3 on max new game runs, if you have the stats for it, is to do just do pure miracles. Because if you... I have a few videos on my channel where I show that. And some people complain. It's like, oh, you can't really... That's not... You can't do that at lower level. I was like, you can get comparable. You can't do it exactly, but you can get comparable damage. I'll explain what it is here in a second. They might swarm me. Yep. Get out of my way. If you have the stats for it, I recommend this setup. This is Dark Souls 3. Sunlight Spear, Yorshka's Chime, uh, Sacred Oath, or the Sunlight, uh, what's the weapon called? The one that Solaire uses. Uh, straight Sword, the Sunlight Straight Sword, that's what it's called. You can use that if you want. I like Sacred Oath just because I, like I like that miracle. Sacred Oath, the, the Rose of Ariandel buff. So if you use that weapons, uh, weapon art, you'll get a faith buff. So your miracles will get I, I don't know what the what the percent increase of damage is, but it lasts for two minutes and you don't have to have the weapon equipped, which is a, pretty good. I'm actually surprised at just how good that is. So you use that weapon art buff and then you use the Lothric War Banner. If you use that weapon art and have it equipped in your right hand you'll get a buffer that lasts two minutes as well. So you get two two-minute buffs that increase your damage output. So you use that with Yorshka's Chime in your left hand. Uh, this was probably a bad idea. Okay, we're good. And then you, you use all the damage boosting rings that you have. And you can kind of choose which ones you want. Some are better than others. But you use the two miracle rings that boost miracles. Uh, the lightning clutch ring. And then the fourth one's kind of like your choice. You can use whichever one you want. You can use Lloyd's ring. Or you can use Flynn's ring if you have very low, you know, weight. And then that setup. Depending on how much faith you have, using that setup, 
you can just pretty much destroy any boss in two to three hits. It requires a little bit of setup. You know, some people are like, wow, he's using every buff in the game. I was like, well, yeah. But, I mean, why not? Here, let's use Bone Marrow Ash. There you go. The, the benefit of it versus, like, a standard, uh, I almost said poor man, but Red Tearstone Ring. It's, it, it will basically get you the same amount of damage that a Red Tearstone setup will get you, but without the risk of almost dying. You can check out some of my videos. I used, uh, I used a similar setup uh, for Champion Gundir. It's a little bit different because I parry him in that, but... It's well worth the the effort. Man, I'm not finding any weird stuff. This is turning out to be a bust. Yeah, look at him. Wait, there's another one. I don't really like how all the enemies scream all the time. I know this is not the right way, but I'm still, I'm looking for... I'm looking for strange. <laughs> I used to play Dark Souls 3 all the time. But I, and I didn't record, I didn't really record any of it. I played that game for like every day for like two to three years. I got to 802, Soul Level 802 farm for like all the best miracles because that dark moon blade takes like 30 proof of concords and I did that like three times because I'm an idiot oh you cane her scum I'm one of you here Chikage versus Chikage there he fell See if I can sneak up on this guy. Please fall. He did. The Canehurst guy is about to die. You can see him there. There he goes. Yo, what's up, brother? Whoa! What were you doing there? Ah, uh, there's not too many side areas in here. I'm disappointed. Here, let's use the Chicago. I haven't been using it much. Oh, it's the jumping bean. Again, I used the, uh... Beast Blood Pellet, even though it's not going to affect my damage output, because it only affects, ouch, physical damage and not blood damage. Here, let's pepper him. I don't want to use all of it. The Jikage is a good weapon, but it's a hard weapon to fall in love with. For me, at least. Because the only reason... Two reasons. So you can see that I have the out-of-shape blood gems on it. And I've got some pretty bad ones. I got minus 18 HP drain. Which is bad, because when you transform it, it starts to go down really fast. Because you got three sources of HP drain, so I gotta watch it. Let's use the Rakuyo. It's a hard weapon for me to like because farming for those gems is just such a pain. It's the only lost weapon that doesn't have the radio triangle and waning shape. 
So you gotta get two radials, which is a lot harder than than it sounds. It was one of the last weapons I finished. And I've technically not really finished farming for gems, but I'm in such a position right now that it's like there's no real reason for me to keep going. See, I know this is not the right way, but I'm, again, we're just exploring. But you do get some serious damage with a blood-tinged Chikage. There's nothing up here. Like a fully charged R2 with the Chikage will get you like 1,700 damage. There's nothing in here. I'm so disappointed. You'll get like 1,700 damage with it, which to me at the beginning, like comparing it to other weapons, I was like, that's not that much. But then I thought about it some more. I was like, actually, that's a lot of damage. It's always risky to say that, oh, I don't like this weapon. Oh, look who it is. Freddie Mercury. Get it? Because he's a queen killer? One time, I made a dungeon. And then, like, the first... This video's on my YouTube channel, by the way. I made a dungeon, and there was a big open room, kind of like the one outside here. And there was one Bone Ash Hunter, one Kanehurst Hunter, and then one Queen Killer, all in one room. I've never seen that really before. The dungeon, unfortunately, doesn't exist anymore. They expire if they're not popular. Hopefully this one will have four layers instead of three. But people make fun of my weapon. My weapon of choice. But it's alright. Amy, what you wanna do? I thought I'd get a stagger. Feels wrong using arcane and blood tinge at the same time. I have killed Amygdala so many times. Let's see, hold on. I really gotta get rid of some of these blood gems. I'm never gonna use them. Okay, so he dropped a nourishing abyssal. Which one? Ah, there it is. The, the ever useful add rapid poison effect. Very useful. Dang it. All right, I'll get rid of it later. <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong button because reasons. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe, do all that good stuff. Uh, and remember, stay safe and don't do drugs. <laughs>